you launch Blabla Ride, uh, and Blabla Ride is uh, e-scooters inside the city. In the downtown Montreal, we've decided to create sanitary bike station to safely welcome visitors arriving with a bike. We developed the first swappable battery scooter that changed a lot for us. We need to make our data the most comprehensive and accurate information possible. To propose the, what we call the new services to facilitate customers' life. The Chicago Streets Recycling Plan 2020 calls for a 645-mile network of biking facilities. I would probably say, if I'm on the ocean, it's a surfboard. I drive, of course, full electric cars. We must keep on encouraging the use of public transport. Midterm, I think there will be a shift to more individual transport. The industry of retrofitting uh, the, the combustion engine cars. One thing that I'm really keeping a close eye on is the shift from rideshare to food delivery. Uber, you know, most people think of it as a rides company, but now when they're releasing their quarterly earnings, Uber Eats is topping the charts when it comes to revenue and gross booking. More and more respect for the environment. The mobility post lockdown must be about moving people instead of moving cars. For the long term, I think mass transit will remain the same. Continue to advocate for streets built for people. E-bikes are one of the most tangible examples of those investments. Their sales are booming, reaching almost 3.5 million units sold in Europe in 2019, and a forecast of 4 million units likely to be sold in 2020. I think this is a golden time for multimodality and we can solve both of those issues, bring growth for economy, which is definitely needed, but at the same time solve the issue of sustainability.